Hello, welcome back to the Kitchen Table Modelers Workshop. My name's Ian and there's my modeling setup. <laughs> right, product review time. Um, following in the theme here, um, my good friends at Galeri have been kind enough to send me another airbrush to try. Um, and this time it's their latest release. Uh, it was released just before Christmas. And it's the Mobius 0.30 uh, premium airbrush, brand new from Mobius, uh, from Galeri. Uh, initial thoughts, it's fantastic. Now, I'm actually filming this after I've done the box opening, hence why I've got the product in my hand. Um, so you'll see in the video, putting down some paint, simple paint, on different types of model parts, and my overall thoughts. But to say that I am impressed would be an understatement. Um, I'm really, really very impressed, and I'll, I'll explain that uh, through the video. So, enough waffling. Let's actually get on a look at the airbrush in hand, and let's see, just off, off the cuff, how quick and easy it is to set this thing up and use it. Well, you always know it's a good day when you get a brown box from Galeria in the post. Um, as you can guess from the info, Galeri have kindly sent me their new Mobius uh, Premium Series 0.3mm airbrush to have a go with. So, as always, packaging is really, really good. Out the cardboard out there, we've got bubble wrap around the box. Um, I took the time to take the shrink wrap off this box so you didn't have to see me mess around with it on camera and then we open up to see what we've got inside so starting off as with the let's just zoom in a little here as with the other airbrushes I received from Galeri then we have a full parts breakdown in here which is good we've got their publicity card so stay tuned or stay updated so all the different things we've got YouTube Instagram Facebook discord X and reddit and Galeri's customer promise which I think is really really hard to beat by any other manufacturer find an issue with their product no need to return it contact them and they'll arrange for a reshipment so that's a company that's really confident in their product. And the Mobius is one of their newest release airbrushes. It was released or launched just before Christmas. So we're just in the beginning of February, so it's only been out maybe six weeks or so. We've got the full instruction manual, which is excellent. I won't go right through it because you can actually get it online. But it's a real good um, tutorial for anyone that's not well versed with airbrushing really really good packaging absolutely good packaging again we've got spare seals which is fantastic lube which is fantastic and then the airbrush itself and goodness me does that not look good um, I have to say when I saw it being launched I just thought to myself that's a step up from Galeri and I'm really lucky that they've Kindly sent me one to try. So, double action airbrush, 0.3 mil. This is their premium range airbrush. So we're expecting really, really good quality. And from the get-go, I would say we probably have got, well, there's no probable, we definitely do have excellent quality. Um, right, lid's a little loose, but this is what it is silicon uh, tip protector which is nice and we'll move this to one side so what have we got well we've got a beautiful chrome finish absolutely flawless no machining marks whatsoever we've got a square top trigger with nice finger grips in it and that feels really really nice in the finger positive on the air down and lovely and smooth on the needle stroke of the trigger. Um, if we 
comes with a quick release, which again, a lot of high-end airbrushes don't come with. Um, so simple things like that makes it a really, really good buy. So quick release screws off. <sighs> yep, air valve comes off. And that feels really, really smooth. Really, really nice to operate. We'll take the back end of the airbrush off. It's got the trigger of stop here. Adjustable trigger stop, which is fine. Now, what I have to say straight away is the machining on the threads is of really, really high quality. There's no burring. The threads are cut beautifully and the whole brush is very, very nicely chromed. I'm actually so impressed with this. Uh, we've got the trigger stop, so we've got nice broad threads in there. We've got an O-ring just to give it a bit of friction. We've got a brass needle chuck. Spins right off. Again, looking at the machining in the needle chuck, absolutely beautiful. We'll draw the needle. This is a 0.3 needle. If we look at the end, if I can get it to focus. There we go. Very, very nicely machined. That should allow paint flow. No problem at all. Feels super smooth when you run your fingers down it. Um, I'm actually going to have to get a spanner to get this out. So what we can do is this part I'm unscrewing here is the adjuster, the tension adjuster for the needle chuck spring. So that's the spring that gives you tension as you pull back on the needle, on the on the trigger. Again, beautiful machining on the threads. Very, very smooth to unscrew. So there's the needle chuck spring retainer. There's the spring. No lube on this part, so I'll be actually putting a bit of lube on there and the trigger is out and that's very interesting so we've got a completely different trigger from what we had in the 98d where that trigger it's a bit stiff because i need to clean it that trigger had a, a swivel in the end and, and an extension to reach down so a little swivel in the end and an extension to reach down into Right, let's just pull this apart. I'll show you. That reached down into the, the trigger well. These airbrushes are so easy to strip. Makes maintaining them so easy. So here we go. There's the difference. So there's the Mobius trigger. One solid trigger. And there's the 98D trigger. So you've got the trigger with a swivel in it and an extension to activate the air valve. So you're removing all that slack and slop and you're ending up with a single trigger. Beautifully made, absolutely beautiful uh, chrome. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. All right, I've already screwed this on. We'll take it off anyway. Right, can we see inside there? Look at the finish of that chrome. You can actually see the reflection of my lights in the ceiling <laughs> inside that. And that's matched with the on the outside absolutely beautiful beautiful machining on the threads Try keep that with the camera and then we look down in here and we have our Teflon seal in the bottom to keep the paint seal right absolutely stunning air cap or crown cap you want to call it crown cap there one piece very similar to the 98D and then this piece here is the big change compared to the 98D so it is a self-centering nozzle but it is probably about twice the size of the 98D's nozzle so we've got fantastic machining both inside and out on the air cap and then we have the nozzle for the 0.3 nozzle with Galeri's new air delivery system so you can see the machined air airways along the edge of the nozzle 
which then delivers air across the top of the nozzle aperture where the needle is, creating the venturi effect and drawing, uh, siphoning the paint down the needle and spraying it out the air cap. Really, really well machined. I mean, that is beautiful machining. Stunning stuff. Now, what I do need to do, I'm not going to take this out, but if I use the needle to point in here, you can see this bit of beautiful brass molding. That is the packing screw for the seals, the needle seals, at the rear side of the color cup. And depending on what size of needle you're putting in this will depend on how much tension and if you can just screw in or back off that screw it will increase or decrease the tension on the needle seals, the needle packing seals. Um, have a quick look down the front end of the airbrush. Beautifully machined on the inside and you've got your three air holes located in the top end of the airbrush there delivering air to the, across the valve. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with this. I'm really, really impressed with this. Putting it back together is dead easy. We'll start with a nozzle. It's always the best place to start. Get that on. We'll get the crown cap on to protect the nozzle and the needle when we put it in. Right, so this piece obviously screws out and I don't have an adjustable to slacken this off and to be fair I don't really want to um, I can see that the machining at the end of the uh, needle chuck is beautiful so I'm going to leave it in place I might take it apart later but at the moment it won't bother so let's get the needle chuck return spring and what I'm going to do is we're going to get some of this lube that Galeri puts in every airbrush and again, between the lube and the quick release, Galeri is probably saving you, you know, five to ten pounds. Uh, okay, first lesson failed. Pair of clippers. Oh, that is sealed, so. There we go. So I'll nip the end off. And we want to just put a small amount of lube, we don't need much. And that will work its way around so you can see how much I've put on, just a small amount. And that will work its way around the spring as you screw in. It will also lube up the threads, so make sure you don't cross thread. So the threads are in properly. There we go. And what I will need to do first, before we put too much tension on that, is put the trigger in. Otherwise, we won't be able to get it seated properly. So, trigger in. Hold that in place with your finger. And screw. And screw. And screw. It takes a little moment to take up those threads. It's obviously quite a long thread to screw in. There we go. And basically, you can fetch it right up tight. And have the most tension or you can back it off to whatever you feel comfortable using i've got great huge fingers so i can use quite a strong or i'm used to quite a strong spring tension so if we look in here when we put the needle in you can see the needle passing through passing through the uh, packing chuck and then it comes right down and stops nicely nicely in the tip of the valve we'll get the chuck on needle chuck on Tighten up, and then we're going to test it. Yep, that's good. And then we'll get the air valve back in. Beautiful. Okay, pop on the end. That closes up absolutely superbly. The tolerances on this airbrush are fantastic. They really, really are. Right, so to set your needle, needle stop, just put it full back, then turn it until you can't anymore. Then you know you've got your full trigger. And obviously if you want less, 
if you screw it in a little bit less screw it in and it will screw until you can't move the needle at all so I tend not to use these they're a very handy feature but I'm so used to trickle control I don't need to use it too much let's get the quick release back on just say there is make sure you've still got the o-ring that's in the bottom there the black o-ring that just screws on color cup that's a slightly smaller color cup than the other airbrushes we've had from Galeri different shape but beautiful form all the same and the lid there we go right and just to show you how quick and easy it is to do both of them there's the 98D and the thing with this one is you've got to get the extension down into the trigger well to activate the air valve and if you don't do it properly it won't go in properly and it can be a little bit frustrating if you're not used to doing it great video watching my hands getting in the way So there we go. So a quick comparison. We'll put the uh, 68 aside because it's a completely different type of airbrush. And Galeri do do the Swallowtail, which is their high end version of the 68 trigger. But the Mobius is their premium airbrush. And the Galeri is the. Uh, basically workhorse um, best quality airbrush now if you've all watched my video painting the um, Tamiya Sky Raider you will see how well impressed I am with these airbrushes this airbrush does exactly what it says in the tin and it does it repeatedly and reliably which is all you want from an airbrush now looking at the Mobius the first thing you notice is it's a little bit lighter this is quite a chunky airbrush the 68 oh sorry the 98D whereas the Mobius is quite a few grams lighter and if you're in the uh, old Imperial system a few <laughs> half an ounce are lighter so that's going to be easier to use we've also got this um, flat sided cut out here on the center of the brush which actually fits my fingers nicely the square trigger it also is nicer to feel than the round just the way I work with them your fingertip on there it naturally finds it easy to sit on push down and pull back very very impressed however being impressed with the looks is only a part of the way there the real thing is getting the thing up and going so let's get the compressor fired up I've got some got some stowage here that I'm going to be painting for a build I'm doing so we'll get some paint on and we'll put it through the brush and see what it does so give me a moment and we'll be back okay so I've got the compressor charged up and we've got Tamiya's 
XF85 rubber black. Um, it's just a dark bluey grey colour that I was wanting for a base colour. Clean up the edge of the brush so we don't dribble. Sorry about the creaky chair, I'm going to have to do something about the springs. So, just wiped up the rim of the airbrush, pop the lid back on the paint so I don't spill it because I have a habit of doing that. There we go. Okay, let's. Um, Grab some of these bad boys. Let's go for this big one first. So we're spraying at such a little height. Around about twenty PSI. Okay, there we go, you can see the paint coming out. So it's a 50-50 mix. Beautiful dust coat going down. Angle's done, we'll put the slightly heavier coat down. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Just come in from all the angles. Nothing wrong with that at all. Let's put down a beautiful coat of paint. So we'll try this one with the sort of lots of ins and outs, so, my dust coat going down first, get all the sides covered. Yeah. That is doing exactly what an airbrush should do. Working. <laughs> to do is to get a bigger piece of plastic to spray. That's quite a dry paint. It could be thinned a lot more, but that is having no problems whatsoever dispensing that. Then a beautiful coat, color coat. What have I got? I can spray. Right, let's go and have a look at a bigger piece of plastic. So here's an ME110 that I'm building at the moment. And we'll have a go at spraying some of the wing. And we'll see if we can do some fine line work. So we'll leave the air cap on. And we'll do some panel line pre-shading. So you've actually got some really good 
trigger control for the paint. So you can see that's laying down the fine lines beautifully. getting closer and it really is when you're doing the close work you might want to take off the air cap so you can actually see what the needle's doing that is able to do some very very fine air work no tip dry No spider in. Really, really good control on the trigger with this new trigger. The air is either on or off. So you could maybe fit a Mac valve if you wanted a bit more micro air control on your line. But that is putting down some beautiful tight lines in there for Motlin. Pop off the crown cap so we can expose the needle. See the needle sticking out there. Get some focus on. There we go. So now we can see the needle. Let's just see how, how we do for fine lines. And they're coming out beautiful. Very difficult to get the right camera angle. You can see what I'm painting, but with that fine lineage there I would have no problem doing freehand camo with it and then when you want to do some full area cover we'll just paint those in pull back and we'll open the trigger right up dust coat to start with There we go, that's full on. That's putting in a nice even coat of paint. Over the rivets. There we go. And that's not flooding any of the detail. You're getting down a beautifully smooth coat of paint. What more is there to say? Um, I was going to prime the model black anyway, so nothing wasted there. But that's that's impressive. That's really impressive. Um, the the most impressive thing about this whole package is. Bearing in mind, this is Guilleri's premium high-end airbrush, uh, designed for somebody who's accomplished airbrushing and looking to get a really good quality and detailed brush, which this definitely will be. If we look on their website, at this moment in time, so this is the 4th of February 2024, Galeri's website, if you buy direct from them, are selling this airbrush for $64.99. $64.99. Its normal retail price is $75.99. So for us in the UK, that's probably going to be about £68. And then plus shipping and... Um, Full retail is going to be about £72 or something like that. That is an awful lot of airbrush for not a lot of bit of money. Bearing in mind you get your quick release and you're getting your spare seals and you're getting your loop. That's really impressive. Yeah, totally impressive. And I have to say I can't do anything but recommend highly enough. So there we go. Galeries, um, Mobius.
0.30 premium line airbrush. I think you'd have gathered from, if you'd watched through the end of the video, you'd have gathered that I'm seriously impressed with this airbrush. If we consider its build quality, its um, usability, its ease of maintenance, um, ease of cleaning, um, presentation, uh, manufacturer's uh, guarantee and backup, um, all those points alone stack this airbrush up against the ones it's aiming for. So you're looking at the Eyewater Eclipse or the Harder and Steenbeck Evolution, even the Harder and Steenbeck Infinity CR Plus. This airbrush is going to give them a run for the money. It really is. Um, and then you consider all that, plus the extras, so your quick release and your lube and your spare seals, all that package for without discount, you're looking at $75. That's amazing in anybody's book. That's less than half price of most of those airbrushes I've just mentioned. So you could go and buy two of these to one of those. That's how that is the basic math of it. Backed up with with the product manufacturer saying, if there's a problem, don't ship it back. We'll replace it. I mean, no other airbrush company does that. Now I know Galeri is a new new start, but no new start can afford to give away stuff. So they they really do believe in their product before they're making that level of guarantee. And in dealing with them personally, they've been really cordial, more than helpful. They've listened to some of my suggestions I've put to them about maybe ways to improve other airbrushes in the range. But, yeah, I'm actually blown away. So this, this airbrush is, is going to go in with, I've got the, um, the 98D and we've got the 68 Trigger. Um, and these three airbrushes are going to be my primary airbrushes definitely for the next six months. But, you know, the way, the way it's going, I, I can see them being my primary airbrushes full stop. And I've got some serious airbrushes, you know, I've got Harden Steambecks, um, both Infinity and Evolutions. I've got Hansa um, airbrushes, you know, the 281381. I've got um, Krios Mr. Hobby Color airbrushes, and I've even got, you know, high end American developers dagger. But these airbrushes are fantastic, really, really, really are nice. You could see in the video, it sprayed no bother at all, and we were using. Um, Rubber black, 50-50, straight through the airbrush. No blockage, no tip dry. Cleaning it out, absolutely no bother at all. But the build quality is definitely a step up from the 98D, which was a good airbrush. That that just knocks it out of the park. Um, so yeah, I'm all I can say is it's recommended. And, and I'm not just saying that because I was sent it and asked to review it. I'm actually saying that because I believe it. It's a very, very good product and for the money and the backup and the package itself, you could go a long, well, you'd have to go a long, long way to get anything near the quality of this, this airbrush for the price point they're selling it at. So well done to the chaps and ladies and gentlemen at the Galeri. You've, you've really put a fantastic product together and your product development team should, you know, pat themselves on the back because they, they've knocked it out of the park. Now I'm looking to get the um, Mobius 2.0 for fine detail, um, but I will be purchasing that, <laughs> so you'll get my honest opinion. Um, I am very grateful and honoured that Caleri considered it fit for me to have their products to review. Um, so if you want to get the products, there is a link below, um, and if you've got any questions or want to see me try them doing whatever, just give me a shout, um, and I'm more than happy to try them um, on anything you want me to do using any paints that I can get a hold of um, that you want to see me put through them. So, Galeri's Mobius 0.30 airbrush. Go and get one. You will not be disappointed. Um.